In this video, we're going to be going over how to set up the B size title block in AutoCAD. So from the previous videos, um, we set up our uh, layers uh, and then also we set up our A size uh, drawing template. So now we're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to go into our layout two. We are going to delete out any viewports. Uh, we are going to double click on this and we are going to name it B size. So this will be our B size sheet. Um, what we are going to do next is go into our page setup and we're going to click modify on our B size sheet. Uh, what we are going to do is make sure that you choose the printer. Again, you want A180, Phaser 7100. Uh, after that, we are going to change our paper size. We are going to change that to our ANSI B, which is 11 by 17 or tabloid and make sure that you choose grayscale. We'll push OK, and we will close out of that. As you can see, the B size sheet uh, is now enabled. Now what we are going to do is we are going to look at our sheet right here. And again, we are going to now begin drawing this with our polyline tool. So we're gonna grab our polyline, and again, our first line is 16.25 inches. So we're gonna go 16.25 two, five. All right. Our next line down is 9.875. So we'll go down 9.875. We'll go straight over. We can connect that and connect that. Okay. <clears throat> Again, uh, make sure you are using the polyline. Again, if you use the line tool, we can change it later on. Um, but again, continue to use the polyline and we can start to use uh, and make this uh, block down here. So as we check, we see that each one is 0.5 inches thick. The bottom two are one and then the top two are two inches. So let's go back to our AutoCAD. We can grab our polyline tool and we know that we're gonna go up 0.5. We're gonna go over one inch and we're gonna go straight down, okay? We're gonna grab our polyline, we're gonna go over one inch, and we'll go and connect. We can grab our line, go straight down, connect. So now we have these bottom two blocks. Next, we'll do these two two inch blocks right here. So we'll grab our line, we can go up 0.5, and we can go over and connect. We can do one more of those. We can go up 0.5 and we can go over two. So now we have these two and these two. Next, we have uh, this block right here, which is 2.5 and each of these are 0.75 inches. So we can go back to our AutoCAD. We can grab our line tool and we said 2.5 and 0.75. So this is 2.5 and we said that it is 0.75 and we can connect that right here. We can grab our line tool and just go straight down. Okay, so now we have all of our uh, lines drawn, all of our poly lines. <clears throat> so what we can do is go back to our AutoCAD. Let's zoom out here, okay? And we can do our P edit. Okay, um, we used all polylines here, but we have multiple polylines. So we can type M for multiple. We can highlight all of our drawing, select it. Do you want to convert? We do. And we are gonna change the width. And we're gonna change it to 0 0.0625. We can double check right here. 0 0.0625, 16th of an inch. And we can lock that in. Okay, so now we have the border thickness correct. Now what we can do is add our text. So again, if we, we zoom in on this, um, we need York High School. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna type logo. And then we have name, drawing name, date and scale, very similar to our A size sheet. So let's do the York High School one first. So we can grab our text box, we can Click, and we can click again. 
make sure you change that to 1 8th or 0.125. And we're going to type York High School Industrial Technology. Okay. I'm going to highlight this and I will center it. And then lastly, we can just kind of move this in place. Okay. Next, what we can do is we can add our logo right here. We can type our text box, click, click, and we'll say, uh, we'll do it eighth again, 0.125. We'll type logo. Okay. We can shorten this box up a little bit, and then we can just click and drag this, move this to the middle. That looks good. Next, we need name, drawing name, date, and scale. So we can grab our text tool. We can go click, click. Let's change this to a 16th, 0 0.0625. And we can type name. Again, so, so since the rest of these text boxes will be the same size, we can very easily just click on it, copy, paste, and we can make this one drawing name. If we just double click on it, and we can say drawing name. If we don't want the text to wrap like this, we can extend the box. So again, we can grab this and we can extend it out. There we go. So now we have drawing name, we have date, and we have scale. So we can grab this, copy, paste. We can name this one date. We can click on this and move this. There we go. And last but not least, we have scale. Okay, so now we have uh, our title block. Um, we could, uh, very similar to A, if we want to, we can take this and we can just move it onto the page a little bit better. So that looks like it fits on the page a little bit better right there. So we're good to go. Uh, a few more things that we can do just to make sure that you have everything right on this page. Um, very similar to the A, if we go to uh, our model area, we can make sure, A, that we have all of the snaps that we want turned on. We can go to our uh, our polar, oh, right here, our polar tracking, and just make sure that you have the right one that, that you like. Um, just to make sure that we don't have anything, uh, a point or a line or a circle, sometimes we get super zoomed out. Um, I just drew a circle, it's roughly three inches. We can push Z, enter, E, enter. And now this is uh, fitting the entire board. So we know that there's not anything else floating out there. So we can just click and delete that. So our last step, um, now that we have completed our A size and our B size, um, we can now save this as a template. So um, we can go file, we can save our drawing file as our template uh, DWG, just in case there's some changes we wanna make down the road. But now we can go save as, we can save this as a AutoCAD drawing template, and we can use this as a template, and we can just call this AutoCAD template. Okay, and then we can say, uh, I would save this to your ID number. So again, mine's a little different. But again, I would find the one that has your ID number on it. So I can just save it to my desktop and say, save. That looks great. Okay, so that is how you guys make your A size and B size title blocks.